I've been flying the Voyager for just, a, just under a year now. Um, it's my first tour uh, as a Royal Air Force pilot uh, and it's been a very enjoyable experience so far. The, the actual process of air-to-air -air refueling starts on the ground in the planning phase. Uh, we have to agree a time and a place to meet in the air uh, and what speed to meet at. Uh, once we do that, we'll uh, go and find each other in the sky and visually identify ourselves. From there, we'll proceed into close formation uh, where we will, um, the Voyager is generally in front of and above the receiver aircraft, in this case, the A400. Uh, from there, we'll, we use a system called Drogue and Probe. Uh, the Voyager has a, a Drogue, which is off the back of the aircraft. Uh, for a large receiver aircraft, we use the center line uh, of Drogue. Um, and the A400 has a probe on the edge of it, uh, which makes contact with the basket, uh, which allows fuel to flow. Uh, from then, we tr transfer fuel about one and a half tons a minute, and once the A400 has had enough fuel, we will uh, depart in the sky and go on our way. It was quite, uh, quite challenging photographing it. Because it uses the, the centre pod, um, you can't actually see it out of a window, physically yourself. So I was here at the um, mission system operator's desk, uh, looking over his shoulder and seeing the, the controlling process more from that side. Uh, he has cameras on the outside of the aircraft, like you can see, um, and I was kind of covering it from, uh, from his point of view, really, almost like a, uh, a behind-the-scenes sort of look, if you like. So, yeah. I really enjoyed the experience, actually. It was, it was great. It, it felt quite, um, quite exciting in the cockpit, actually, I think, because it was a first. Um, it was quite challenging, because I can't use flash in here, so it's, it can be quite dark quite a dark environment and there's obviously sunlight coming through the window so you, from a technical point of view it's uh, it's challenging photography um, but we get good kit we get good training and uh, we get a lot of experience to fall back on so yeah really enjoyed it. The significance of this sortie was it's the first time an A400 has ever been operationally refueled uh, outside of training. Um, this demonstrates a capability uh, which extends the range and endurance of the A400 uh, this allows us to access more isolated parts of the world, such as the Falkland Islands, uh, providing better access uh, and capability to support those places. Operating the Voyager is a great privilege. Uh, the aircraft can come up to 233 tonnes and carry uh, over 250 people. Um, it's a great responsibility uh, operating all over the world, either supporting typhoons uh, out in Iraq and Syria, or back in the UK for homeland defence, or down here in Bifisai supporting the Falkland Island people.